what it do, what it is, how y'all living, man. It's your boy Mari. You already know, man. It's another tutorial video on how to show y'all how to work around y'all MT4. A lot of you guys are trading and stuff like that. Y'all need a little guidance. This is what I'm here to do. Um, so the same information I'm gonna be sharing with you guys, I share along with my team. Um, so if you're a trader yourself, or you're a trader independently, you don't have to. You can actually join an investment group that's going to actually help you and show you the ropes about like, you know, how to trade and different things like that. And my team specifically, we make sure that you have a earn while you learn system. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be learning while you're earning. But this right here, this is basically just the first step into showing you how to earn while you learn. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to be working out of my MT4 app right now. Um, and, uh, you know, everybody should have their MT4 app up. You feel what I'm saying? What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm in a demo, you know, and, um, for people that don't know how to add demos to their account, all you have to do is press this plus sign right here. You open up a demo account or you can log into, uh, an existing account. So say for instance, you use, uh, Trader's Way. You know, you, you signed up a demo account with them or you used, um, uh, LQ, DFX, you signed up a, a, a demo account with them, or, you know, uh, say you signed up with JFX, or say you signed up with Hugo's Way. You know what I'm saying? This is where you go to get to your live account and where you get, get, get to your demo account. You basically put in your login and your password that you use to be able to sign up with them or whatever the case may be, and it should take you right there. But if you want to get past all all that you just want to make a demo account right away for the sake of this video we're just going to open up a demo account you know what i mean and i'm gonna choose one of my favorite brokers itself and that's trader's way um you know you go here you put in the information right here you put in your email all that type of stuff because i've already done it i'm not going to do it again i'm gonna just show you guys how to do uh just the simple things click that right there make sure you click a deposit of three thousand dollars just to make it a little bit more realistic make sure your leverage is one to one thousand just for a three thousand dollar um account you know if you have anything below a hundred dollars anything like that you go lower so anything under 500 you put one to 500 anything under 300 one to 300 you know what i'm saying um you know you want to keep your margin uh uh as, as spacious as possible um but you don't want to have too much of your margin if you don't have a lot inside of your account if that makes sense i'm not sure if that makes sense to you guys but basically just keep it between 1,000 and 500. 1,000 and 500 is always good. Um, but because I already did that, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go to one of my, uh, ex uh, one of my, um, the ones that I have already on my account. And let's see, I have a few of them right here. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and click this one. I think I'm already in there. All right, cool. So I don't wanna use that one. Let's see. All right, bam. I'm gonna use this one. That's JFX, but that's for the sake of this video. Um, all right, first things first. You see you have the tabs simple and advanced up here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these pairs so I can show you guys how to get these pairs on um on your MT4. So let's go ahead and do that. Give me a second. Uh, come on, work with me. Any other day I want to do it, but today I don't. Okay, cool. Bam. So what you do is you press the pencil and then, you know, you click each pair, uh, you click each pair and you let them go. So what you do is to add a pair, all you have to do is press this plus button yeah and we go to exotics and um you know depending on what broker you have that's going to be in different uh it's going to be in different folders you feel what i'm saying you know you got stocks you got uh fx crosses energy metals oil cryptos anything like that uh for for what we do which is uh foreign exchange we're going to be going to fx crosses and adding these and every time you add something, it goes to the bottom of the list. So the last thing that we added was Euro JPY. We're going to add GBP Chef. 
and it's going to be at the bottom of the list. Now, what I like to do when I'm putting pairs in, I like to make sure that all my pairs are together. So if you guys can see all my USDs are together, all my CADs are together, all my ships are together, all my GP, uh, my JPYs are together, my AUDs, my NZDs. And I'm just, if it's not, what I do is I press on it on these three lines and I move them up. That way, when we get a, a signal called out, we get a signal called out. I'm not scrambling for different pairs. I know exactly where they are. All right. Cool. Got that? Cool. All right. So this is a simple screen. Um, it just basically shows you the pairs and it shows you the highs and the lows. And um, when we switch over to advanced, it basically shows you the same thing with the with the numbers steady moving and stuff like that. Uh, because we are moving into the holidays, the pairs are moving a little bit slower. Uh, the market is, is very slow right now, and that's okay. Um, you know, it'll pick back up after the holidays or whatever the case may be. Um, we're not too busy. We're not too worried about the highs and the lows. The main thing that we're looking at is the spread, right? So the spread is telling you how volatile the pair is. So basically how much you can make or how much you can lose. So the higher the spread equals higher the risk. And if you have paper and pen, I want you guys to start writing this stuff down, okay? This is one of the things you must write down so that way you can know what a spread is and what you're looking at when you come to the screen right here. Um, so like I said, the higher the spread equals higher risk. The lower the spread, lower the risk. You feel what I'm saying? So the best spreads are between eight and 50. Anything below eight is fine. Um, anything above 50 is too high. You feel what I'm saying? So let's see if we can find a, a spread that's uh, above 50. Usually it'll be gold. So let's see if we can find gold. Yeah. There go gold right there. So let's see what gold looks like. Oh, it's 13 right now. So it's not that bad. Usually it's like almost 60 and stuff like that. Um, but today um it's a little bit different and you know each spread is different depending on what what um what um what broker you're with you know uh traders way hugo's way um you know jeffx lqd effects they all show different things as far as like the spreads and you know how they move in the markets and stuff so just be very mindful of that um but let's go over and go to charts okay so these are the charts your chart may look a little different from mine. Um, if you're a part of my team, I'll show you how to get your chart to look like mine. But just for the sake of this video, for the sake of time, um, of everything, I'm going to, you know what? What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get your chart like mine. Not everything you will have, but the things you really need, you're gonna have, okay? All right, so number one, when you're looking at a chart, you see this top left-hand corner, on the top left-hand corner, you see M1, M5, M15, M30, H1, H4, D1, uh, Week 1, and MN, okay? So, I know I gave you the, the sauce already. M1 is Minute, M5 is Minute 5, M15 is Minute 15, M30 is Minute 30, H1 is Hour, D1 is Day, um, Week 1 is Week, and MN is Month. So, basically, when you click all these right here, it's basically showing you the markets from 30 minutes, hour, day, a week, or whatever the case may be, you know, a minute. So every every candle is forming a minute, as you can see right here. You know, you see that candle is moving. You know what I mean? And you're gonna see, you know, everything move or whatever the case may be. Um now you're you're wondering, well, how do I get all the squeaky lines? How do I make my stuff look like yours? Whatever the case may be, right? Um, what you do is you go here to F, right? So these are the, the different things that I have on my screen. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I use different methods, which is one of the methods that I use is the Bollinger Band method. So I have the relative strength index, the average direction of movement index, and the stochastic. Um, stochastic, uh, I don't know how to say the last word, but I, 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 call, I just call it stochastic, right? So I go to main window, and the way to be able to add the different indicators, you go to main window and you press one. So let's press relative strength indicator. And for the sake of the video, we're just gonna press done. Um, after you see that, it's gonna be right here at the bottom. That's your RSI. I already have my RSI set up here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. You know what I'm saying? Your indicators will be right here, right? I don't need that because I already have it set up. So this is what your indicator numbers 
should look like for a relative strength indicator, right? You can let your color be whatever color you want. The second indicator that I have is the average directional um, movement index, right? These are my numbers and everything. Okay. All right. And then the, the last thing that I have is the stochastic. And this is what I use for my Bulger Band method. If you guys want to, you know, look more into that, I'll have a training video on how to use a harmonic scanner. Later on, I'll post that video. All right. That's just one of the methods. Um, you know, all the things are in my main window. My main window is this window right here. Um, is, you know, I have the fractals, Ichimoku Cloud, and the Bollinger Bands. All right. They all are just different ways to show you what the candles and wicks are doing and stuff like that. Um, the main thing that I use is the ADX. Um, that's my favorite. So this red line, it equals sell. The green line is a buy. Um, so at the moment where this green line and this red line are crossing, you will see that the market will take a shift. So right here where this green line is crossing, this red line, um, the green line shows that it's going to go for a buy, and it did exactly that. It did exactly that. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and at the moment that the red line crosses the green, it goes for a sale, right? And it does exactly that. You feel me? So really all it is is just um, telling you the same thing, you know, that the candles tell you just from a different perspective. Um, but we'll get more into that later on, you know, once you dive deep into Forex, once you dive deep into, you know, wanting to be a master trader and everything like that, you know, well, we're going to get straight to the bread and butter, everything on how you can start making money today. So this is where all the magic happens. This is definitely where all the magic happens. Okay. Um, you have your balance right there. You see my balance. Um, I made about $266 just on a demo, whatever the case is. I really don't be on my demo like that because I'm mostly trading live. I like to trade live so I can really get money and make real withdrawals. That's what we focus on here at Trade House. Anyway, um, your equity is always going to reflect. Um, your equity is always going to reflect your balance. But if you're in a trade or if you're in profit, it's going to show you how much money you would have made after you get out of a trade, right? And your margin is always gonna is gonna is gonna be zero, and that's just gonna let you know how much space you have. You never want it to go red, right? So you want to make sure that you're always practicing the ten percent rule. Okay. So, um, and another thing that I like to always tell my team members is don't think someone else's profits should be your profits because they have way more money in their account. They may have way more money in the account. So they may be able to get into more trades for a higher lot size, which will make them more money. So the more you have in your trading account, the more you can trade. So if I have $3,000 inside of my trading account, the highest that I could trade at the moment will have to be, let's see. Oh, and this is how you uh, press a trade. So what I, what I do is I hold on, I hold that, um, uh, the pair or whatever, and then this window is gonna pop up, I press trade. You could press trade, or if you wanna see what the charts are looking like, you could press charts, or if you wanna look at the details and everything, you can press details, and it's gonna show you all that extra stuff, but we really don't use that. Um, but uh, the two things that I focus on is trade and chart, right? So when you wanna get into a trade, when we call out a market execution, this is where your screen is gonna look like, okay? Um, so I have a $3,000 lot size, so, I could get into one trade for a whole three dollars and still be fine, right? Because I have three thousand dollars inside my account. But we suggested you guys do not do that. And the reason why we suggest you guys to not do that is because at that at that instance, you're trading the whole account. You're not just trading 10% of your account. You feel what I'm saying? So what we do is we make sure that you only trade 10% of your account. So I would keep it safe by just getting to one trade for a dollar. You know, if you if you're in uh push one thousand uh telegram group, if you don't know about it, then you definitely need to join Trade House um investment group or you definitely need to join Trap. 
you know, trap is trade house. But anyway, you need to join our investment group so we can definitely show you how to make money without having minimum losses. It's 99, it's, it's really 98% of the time that we always hit take profit. And it's rare that we uh, take losses. So the last few, the last four weeks, we've only missed, we've only hit stop loss two times. So for the last four weeks, we only hit stop loss two times. And uh, we've made over 900 or some pips per week. So you need to get with Trey House. You need to go ahead and get your subscription. Talk to me. Come directly to me. You know what I'm saying? Go to my Instagram. That's at Mari Trust Me. You know what I'm saying? M-A-R-I Trust Me. And hit me up with my DM and I'll get you set today. You know what I'm saying? We'll get you right today. But anyway, so moving forward, um, I have a $3,000 lot size so I can get into, you know, $3, you know, $3 lot sizes or if it's just getting in for 25 cent, 80 cent, or whatever the case may be. I have all this cent left over to be able to get into a trade, and it's just that simple. Um, for the sake of the time, I'll, I'll show you guys about a uh, 10% rule later, but just for the sake of this video, we're just going to continue to, you know, focus on showing you how to just get into a trade, right? So we're here. So say they call out a pair, right? And um, another thing, you can you can pick a pair straight from the top of this uh, arrow. You see AUD USD. You click there, and it's going to take you where all the pairs are, whatever the case may be. So look, let's see something. Let's go to um, let's go to our Telegrams, and let's see. Push one thousand. The last trade that was sent out was all right. Sell. Euro AUD. That's what it's going to look like. Sell Euro AUD. Okay, market execution. It's going to tell you everything you need to know. So um, what we do is uh, Euro AUD. You see, because I have all my stuffs lined up, I can go straight to it. Trade. Boom. You're going to do that. Um, it gives you a stop loss. A stop loss is 1.57550. 1.57. 550 and then your take profit is going to be 1.57050 1.57050 right let me make sure that's correct yes so what we like to do is make sure that you secure your profits um you know take profit one is closer you know to the entry point it's less risk, you know, the higher you get into your uh, take profit. So take profit two, take profit three, you know, it's, it's more of a risk, but it's a high reward. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I like to make sure that I get in my TP1s and I get into the trade multiple times. So what you do is you're going to press sell. Because we've already took this trade and the market is not going the same way that it was before, it's not going to allow me to get in, right? So for the sake of the video, I'm just go ahead and do something different. I'm just press sale and I'm gonna show you how to get in and out of a trade. Okay. So boom, you're here. You're gonna see, you know, the market do what it's gonna do, whatever the case may be. Um, it says I'm negative eleven cents or whatever. Right. That's cool. Uh right now, oh snap, we may we may be going into profit right here on the video. But anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> we're writing profit right here on the video. Okay. Anyway, if I want to secure this profit, I can go ahead and slide to the left. I can slide to the left right here. Click that. Click that arrow, that check arrow. Click that check arrow and close my profit, right? Once I close my profit, it's going to bring me here to my history, and you'll see that I just, I just got, I just profited two cents, okay? It's that simple, you guys. It's that simple. Um, also, if I wanted to... Um, if I wanted to, you know, modify the trade, say I put in the trade and, you know, I wanted to put in the information. I ain't put in the information yet. I could go there. I could hold this, press modify, and I could put it in my stop loss and take profit. Or I could slide it to the left, click this pencil and do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Or if I want to add more trades, I press the plus and it'll allow me to add more trades. Uh, if I wanted to see the chart, I could just click the chart and do it like that. Um, you know, I'll do the same thing. Modify uh trade and uh chart okay same thing so we're just going to take profit on that boom took profit it takes it to my history and it says that i have 
I'll probably say six cents. Uh, there's, there's two there's two cents right here uh, because the broker had to take out its half. Um, it said that I was negative two cents, but because I had, you know, this this profit right here, it brought me back my balance to zero or whatever the case may be. Anyway, um, yeah, so this this brings me to history. Now you're going to see my, my trades for the day. You can see your trades for the week, the month. Oh, I was doing good. I did good. Y'all yeah, see that? Them, them is all the trades I got into myself. If you're trying to make money with me, you want to get into my signals and stuff, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? If you're not a part of the company, I'm sorry you won't be able to access these signals. If you're a part of the company, I'm going to help you learn how to become a master trader on your own. No Hermana scanner, straight trading, trading view, um, straight. Uh, you know, I use investing.com and I use uh, the method that I told you I used earlier, the Bollinger Band method. And the more as you practice with it, the better you will get. You will see these results right here. All right. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, and you can go to custom and you can see, you know, from the time frame that you want or whatever the case is. And yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys, for the basic training. Uh, you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know. If you like videos like this, please like, comment, subscribe on my YouTube channel. I'll continue to show you guys more and more tricks about the Forex market and everything you need to know. Um, if you're a part of Trap, you already know all we do is Trap. Thank you for signing in. Thank you for tuning in and love. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.